Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Knit by Day podcast. If you're a returning viewer, as always, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Deja. You can find me on Instagram at Knit by Day or on Ravelry at Day's Jam. Thanks for joining us today. So, um, guys, I'm getting married uh, next weekend is the wedding, which feels kind of crazy because I have actually been waiting for this moment for two years now. Um, I've mentioned in previous episodes that we purposely took a long engagement and then we had originally planned our wedding for May of last year, which you'll remember was the very beginning of the COVID pandemic and thus didn't happen. So we went ahead and rescheduled it a year in advance and managed to get lucky. We are definitely not out of the weeds as far as COVID, but we're getting to a point where more and more people are vaccinated. A lot of our vulnerable, vulnerable populations have been able to get vaccinated. And so we feel like we're in a comfortable place to go through with the wedding, which is really, really exciting. Um, that being said, I believe this should be the last episode of the podcast until I get back from my honeymoon which, you know, maybe I'll be nice and refreshed at the end of that. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about what we are doing for our honeymoon at the end of this episode when I kind of chat about life. Um, please excuse my air conditioning if you can hear it. Uh, a couple of months ago, they came and said they were going to fix the AC, which there was nothing wrong with it. And all they did was make it louder. To the point that if we're watching a show or doing a Zoom meeting or really doing anything that requires us to actually hear what's going on, we turn the AC off. I managed to forget to turn it off before I set record today, so I'm hoping it is not completely muting me um, because I don't want to stop and restart now that I'm in the groove of things. Anyway, what else do we have in terms of announcements? I mean, that's the big thing, right? My wedding. My hope is that this channel won't have complete radio silence uh, over my honeymoon period. I'm wanting to upload a couple of videos here and there just to show you guys what we're up to. I might do a little bit of vlogging. That's my hope. No promises because who knows what's actually going to happen once we get out there. Um, you know, I might never even think to pick up the camera. We'll see. But as far as other announcements, um, just a reminder to join our year long make along over on Ravelry and or Instagram. It is the made with intention make along. Uh, you can join on Ravelry using the link that I'll put in the description box below. If you want to join us over on Instagram, you can use the hashtag made with intention 2021. That's the year we're in. Apparently, I think it's still 2020. <laughs> With that, let's jump into all of the knitting goodness. Uh, that would be like two things. <laughs> we'll start with what I'm wearing. I am wearing my ranunculus. This is a pattern by, shoot. How am I blanking on her name right now? It will be right here. Um, clearly I didn't do show notes this week because I was feeling a little bit lazy. Happens to the best of us and I am just kind of flying by the seat of my pants. So please bear with me this week. Um, it is knit out of Madeline Tosh. And even if I wrote show notes, I would not know the colorway. I think it's something like Barbara, something um i knit this actually quite a long time ago it's probably been maybe a year and a half i really love it it hits me about at my waist it's super light as you can tell i'm wearing it in the dead of heat in wilmington north carolina um, and it really isn't too hot at all you will see my swimsuit popping out because i plan to get in the pool pretty much the second we're done chatting here. It is about 80 degrees and I am living for the weather. Anyway, that's my ranunculus by the person I've already listed, um, Madeline Tosh. 
really, really, really wonderful pattern. And in fact, I want to knit another one. I just, you know, so distracted by all the things. Speaking of all of the things, I have here my pink velvet sweater by Andrea Mowry. I, on the last episode, called it my pink fizz. Uh, those of you who have been around the block for a minute will know that I did knit a pink fizz sweater, but this is not that pattern. This is the pink velvet. There it is. I love the way that it's showing up on camera. Like I mentioned in the last podcast, um, the yarn is really close to the same exact color. So the contrast is not that great. Um, really in, in real life, you only can really, really see the texture, but I love the way it shows up on camera because you're actually able to see what's going on. So um, since the last episode of the podcast, I've put in maybe three rows. Um, but I'm about four rows from being done with this motif up here. And then I believe I can split for the sleeves and then we'll just be stocking it in the round, which is great. That's exactly what I need, especially coming up on things like airplane knitting and uh, passenger seat knitting uh, once we take off for our honeymoon. That is the only work I have done on the works in progress that you have seen. This week, instead of working on the 15 projects I already have on my needles, I decided to sign up for not one, but two test netting opportunities. I am really excited about both. Uh, one is a pair of socks and one is a Caldana, which is like, you know, just lo those little cute, cow bandanas that I'm really stoked about. But I will start by showing off the socks because I am almost done with the first one. So these are the Oasis socks. They are by the crew that is in charge of the Knitterino app. I'll give you a quick glance at that little patterning going down the foot. Um, the coolest piece about these socks, well, first of all, um, the pattern's really, really pretty, I think, and it works great with speckling yarn. The heel is super stretchy, almost to the point that I had, well, definitely to the point that I had to rip back um, because I didn't realize that it was going to be quite that stretchy, and when I did it the first time, I did it way too big. But we're now at the heel. I'm just going up the leg, finishing that up. Um, as I was saying, the coolest part about this sock is it's actually located on the Knitterino app, the pattern is, and so I got to try that out for the first time, and wow, it is amazing. Um, it makes keeping track of where you are in a pattern and reading along so, so simple. I don't think I lost my place once using this app because it allows you to just swipe through each step and excuse me <laughs> it allows you to swipe through each step and it'll stay there if you close out the app or set it down or need to walk away whatever it's right there saving your place at all times it's so so nice um, almost kind of like what the Kindle did for reading even though I, I definitely prefer my paperbacks but this app. I am looking forward to the day, hopefully it happens, where most of the patterns I'm knitting are available on this app because I just think it's phenomenal. So yeah, these are the Oasis socks by the Knitterino crew and I'm really, really excited to be finishing up on the first sock. Um, they're very, very cozy. This yarn is by Hedgehog Fibers in the Guppy colorway which is fitting because it definitely reminds me of like Finding Nemo. This heel looks really, really baggy, um, which made me nervous while I was knitting it, but it fits just phenomenal. And that's that. Um, I'm imagining I'll finish the leg up today and then I'm trying to start right straight to the second sock so I don't get the second sock syndrome 
as we've discussed before. So the next test knit that I am a part of is a super secret to the point that I'm not even going to yet tell you whose um, test knit it is because I really don't want to reveal anything that I'm not supposed to reveal. Um, I can tell you that it is a Caldana. I think I just mentioned that, which is just uh, actually a Caldana. So this is not the pattern. Um, this is actually Andrea Mowry's um, Night Shift. No, Shift Cal. The Night Shift is a giant shawl. But this is the shift cowl and so as you can see it kind of goes off into a bit of a triangle and that's what i mean when i say caldana i by the way this is like my favorite thing that i've ever knit so i'm excited for another one i think caldanas fit so lovely they keep you super warm and they're really really cute anyway i feel like i'm a bit all over the place today but all that to say i am this Friday, going to be casting on this test knit. It is a Caldana, and while I cannot tell you anything other than that, I can show you my minis. So these, not necessarily in any order, are what I have picked for this project. Going super pink with it, which I am excited about. Um, these are each about, oop, on the floor now. These are each about 20 grams um, and they are all from my advent. <laughs> I cannot keep them on my hand. Um, they're all from my advent calendar um, from this past year, 2020. These are from Sweet Nesting Yarn and if you followed me for my mails here. Oh, hi, Schwess. I know. You gonna bark? <laughs> if you followed me for Vlogmas, you will know I loved every moment of this advent calendar. Wonderful, sweet nesting yarn. And that's it. Um, that is all the yarn stuff I have for this week. Um, as far as life, it is all wedding all the time here. Um, I promised I would give you a little preview, not preview, a little snippet of what our honeymoon will look like. So um, our wedding is on Sunday, May 16th. That night we will drive up to Raleigh, which is about two hours away from us, stay in a hotel, and the next morning we will catch a flight to San Francisco. Once there, we are picking up our camper vans where you're using the company escape camper vans yeah escape camper vans you can check them out on instagram i highly recommend them even though i haven't even picked up my van yet i have seen one in person and they just seem phenomenal so um check them out on instagram if you're interested but we will pick up our van and then i believe the first stop is big sur um from there, we're gonna go to Yosemite, and then the order of the rest, I'm not sure. But I know that we're going to hit Zion, the Grand Canyon, Hoover Dam, and I think that might be it. Uh, we'll end the whole trip in Vegas. We'll spend a night or two in Vegas, do some gambling, stay in a fancy hotel, and finish up and come home. The whole trip is gonna last about two weeks, which we are really excited about. Um, don't remember the last time I took two weeks off of work um, and to spend two weeks kind of traveling around a bunch of national forests is a bit of a dream for the both of us so we are very excited about it and yeah like I said all wedding all the time we are finishing up the little minute details like picking out linens making sure that we have napkins all of that good stuff um, we're getting really really excited can't believe it's next weekend and yeah uh, today is my last day off before I go back to work tomorrow 
So I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon by the pool finishing this sock and maybe doing a little bit of reading. I will see you guys hopefully a lot sooner than a month, but I will keep you in the loop. I'll definitely let you know on Instagram, update you as I come along. Um, anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of weeks to a month, depending on the next time we see each other and happy knitting.